Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. Um, so when I was shuffling out the spread, there is a scene that I saw. Um, so I see this man. He's like in his, um, you know, late 20s, uh, early 30s. He's pretty young, very striking, good looking, um, very tall. And um, he's, uh, he's throwing a stick to a dog and he has this brown puppy. It's like a generic mutt looking dog and it, it looks like under six months old. I'm guessing um, it, it's a still a puppy and um, he throws the stick it goes to get the stick and then it brings it back to him it wags its tail and then he does it again and it comes back and then when he gets tired he sits down the dog brings like flowers to him it then brings um, like a dead bird to him as a tribute and then it goes and digs up bones and then it brings that to him and um, it's like constantly twirling around his feet and just you know it, it's just so happy and what I feel with this is you know there's an immense sense of loyalty and I also feel like you're kind of like the source of somebody's light it's almost like you're the sun in their sky you're the like the the, the moon in the stars and they're they're just like puppy-eyed looking up at you and really adoring you so that's what I'm, I'm feeling and the way that image translates into this I definitely feel like you know you are being thoroughly adored by somebody in your life um, so let me talk about a few things you have some really good cards by the way so you know not to worry um, so first of all your partner okay there's a situation here, and I feel like you've invested a lot of time, a lot of resources, a lot of your energy, a lot of emotional investment in a situation with another person. And there's a whole concept about sunk cost, okay, where we we're, we're in it too deep. And if we were to extract ourselves from it, it can indicate a situation where uh, we feel like we might not want to because it involves starting over and then whatever uh, emotional investment financial time investment that we put into a situation we can't really recoup the cost anymore so then we rather stay in it and just stay in it and see where things go uh, rather than starting over but you do have an opportunity here for you to really start over and for you to kind of like look at other opportunities that might be coming in for you. And so I feel like some of you are in this type of a relationship. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Uh, you or your partner feel as if the light has dimmed in the connection. You or your partner might feel like there's just the weight of responsibility and, and things like that. And it's no longer um, creating that sense of excitement, newness, novelty, uh, passion, and just, you know, chemistry in the relationship. And I feel like for those of you who are in this situation, the whole concept of sunk cost is really hitting home. And you, while you want to, you know, stay there because it is very stable, I almost sense a, a, a sense of like, it's a karmic relationship, I feel, because it brought about children. There could even be a marriage involved. There could even be like a lot of financial uh, linkages between you and you know this partner that's disallowing you to um, just pick up and go, okay? So this is a little bit of a, uh, a heavy situation here for some of you. And um, I feel like you know, that, that puppy always bouncing back, uh, always coming back around. Um, there's a sense of, there's a symbol of Saturn here on this card, okay? And that usually denotes to me a sense of responsibility, a sense of loyalty, a sense of like, you know, we made a vow to commit to one another. And as a result of that, we can't really forsake our vows. We can't be frivolous. We can't just uh, bounce when things get rough or when things get dull. We're in it to win it and we're in it together. So I see this element here about, you know, wanting to make a situation work and constantly working at things, even though the 
um, the light has kind of dimmed in the relationship, okay? Um, for those of you in a relationship with a partner, I feel like you're doing everything possible to take care of your partner if you have children. You're also considering that and you're finding other sources of joy outside of the relationship. It could be even looking outside the relationship, um, but I almost feel like you are cultivating hobbies, cultivating extracurricular activities, cult cultivating things or even your joy and your um, your time and your energy might be devoted towards the kids, towards the pets, towards all the other things in your life um, because you might not want to face the fact that the lights are dimming in the relationship with your significant other. Um, so that's for those of you who have been married and you know things like that okay um for others of you we have here two aces and this is lovely we have here the ace of cups overflowing with love and abundance and we have here the ace of pentacles okay so we have a new source of uh, love coming into the picture this denotes a new person a new person that's coming into your life and I feel like you have somebody who really, really, really adores you. And um, it, I, I feel almost like it's gotten to the point where um, they just want to be with you. They just, you know, like that puppy, they're starry eyed. And um, mind you, the concept of being starry eyed is not just a fleeting infatuation, okay? Um, animals are programmed to work on instincts they sense a good person and they sense a bad person so this is somebody that you know sees the good in you okay like that puppy um there it's not that they're indiscriminate and you know they love you for for your whatever um for for their physical attraction towards you i feel like it's more of a soulful energy and um, i keep seeing this sense of loyalty this immense sense of trust um, this playfulness too that's coming into the picture and I feel like for some of you this is a, a really great passion a really great love and not only is it emotionally very fulfilling for you but with this ace of pentacles it has the potential to grow and you know go the long haul go the distance and be um, the the thing that builds up over time and can lead to marriage can lead to stability can lead to a commitment where the passion is never going to um, dim in the relationship and it can lead to a situation where the two of you can enjoy a great amount of wealth and prosperity when the two of you connect okay so I feel like one connection is dimming and then another connection is thriving and really taking off okay so if you think of you know the ace of pentacles as like a seed right and then you have this ace of cups which is a, a cup of water you put it in the ground and you water it and i feel like it has all the prerequisites to be a very um just a very lovely relationship okay so this is something that is coming into the picture for you in february somebody is really I feel like you really um, light up their world and their existence. And I know it sounds really intense, but it, it, it's meant to be. Their existence really, or your existence, well, no, I, I was going to say their existence, it seems almost as if they live and breathe the moment they're gonna be able to talk to you. They live and breathe for the moment that they're going to be able to catch a glimpse of you it is very intense it is very pure and it is something that's um very sincere and i honestly feel like you know who this person is already and i also feel like you you also fantasize and think about i wonder what it would be like to you know pursue this connection I wonder what it would be like to just, you know, cast my fears of how intense this is, cast it aside and 
go for it. I wonder what it would feel like to start over with this person. And so there's this coming together. It's just two people colliding. It it feels like to me, and the energy is very intense. And you know, it's not just sexual. It's not just physical. There is a heartfelt connection here. There is also a great degree of trust in one another. Okay, but once again, I feel like there are a lot of. Um, I feel like this person is um, breaking open something for you. It could be like they're opening, you know, like a spiritual path for you. They're showing you a side of yourself that you might not have been aware of that has lain dormant because you were in this space of um, dread <clears throat> for quite some time, and you know now we're going moving forward away from this into like a technicolor type of an environment. So it feels to me like really intense. Um, I'm gonna go back to this in just a little bit. And uh, let's just touch on the the uh, other areas. Um, what I feel is, you know, for many of you, and I think I mentioned this for um, Capricorns and Virgos too. So I feel like this is an Earth sign thing. Um, it hit Virgo last year around October when they were contemplating, like, oh, what do I do in my life? And then it hit Capricorn. Um, no, I'm sorry. It hit Virgo. Aug, um, October of 28, no, 2017, the year before, and then I felt like it was hitting Capricorn October of 2018, going into January of this year, and I feel it is hitting you. It's hitting you guys, and the energy that I'm picking up is what is next for my career? Okay, what is next for my career? I feel like many of you have climbed the corporate or career ladder. Very very fast. Okay, I have a an imagery. This is your card here. It's the Queen of Pentacles, but then I'm drawn to this little uh, this goat. Goats are you know climbers, and um, I feel like many of you climb very very fast. Okay, so and that's a natural thing about uh, Earth signs in general in a work environment. You guys are very diligent, very hardworking. But I feel even more so for you. You you care a lot more about like the financial footing. You care that okay, I need to advance because the pay scale is a little bit higher. So I I need to always 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 advance. And you're kind of like at the peak of your career now. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's self sufficient. Independent takes care of you know her basic needs. Take care of other people. Very nurturing, very capable and competent when it comes to her skills, and she is there to troubleshoot and solve problems too for other people. But they do come to her, so I feel like it's a you. You might be in a position where you know you have that corner office. You have the nice.、Um, Reclining chair, and、um, you're not doing work that is very physically demanding. I feel like you're in a good space right now to really kick up your feet and just like, okay, what's next for my career? On top of that, finances is very, very stable here. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, financial blessings coming through, a lot of stability. There's a lot of room for.、Uh, there has been a lot of room for growth, but with the ten, it's almost like the end of a cycle, and it doesn't mean you're gonna lose your job or you know quit or whatever. But what I feel is you're kind of like at the apex of your career, and you're trying to figure out like what's the next step. Okay, do I advance forward?、Um, I feel honestly, some of you are a little bit bored with the work that you're doing. However, you're staying there because the work is not very demanding. It、um, it's like for the amount of work that you're putting in, you're getting paid a lot, and you like that, and there's nothing wrong with that. And、um, for the amount of work that you're doing, and the amount of money that you're making, you're also getting a very good reputation, a, a job that is very high in status, a job that is very well sought after, a job that garners a lot of respect from other people from the outside looking in. And so you're also thinking like, okay, if I take the next step, so for example, if you're a supervisor and then you want to be a manager, you're just like, 
um, you're you're doing the the calculations, you know. Yes, on the one hand, it's a let's say it's a five thousand dollar pay increase, but there's a lot more responsibilities. Do I really want to do that? Because I'm kind of comfortable here. Th this is a very cushy job, okay. And then you're also thinking as well about the maneuvering, you know, office politics, blah blah blah, that is required of you in order to take that next step. So I see a little bit of like uh, a lull when it comes to income um, enhancements, and then I also feel like you're um, you're comfortable where you're you're at too. You're comfortable. So what is coming through as well is um, we have a situation where you. I see opportunities coming in. Ace of Pentacles. This is a new job that's going to be opening up, and the job is in perfect alignment with the type of work that really makes your soul and your heart sing with passion and joy. So it's like it's not only a job. The 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 ideals of the work itself. It's everything that you want it to to do. So, for example,、uh, I see a lot of teachers. Um, when I do Torian readings, okay. So, for example, if you're managing people, or if you're a teacher and you're guiding people, if you're a teacher and you're just like, oh, I, I really enjoy, you know, shaping young minds, and then there's a position that opens up for like、um, a head of the department, for example, and you're just like, oh, now I get to design programs you know, or or classes or the curriculum so that it addresses some of these needs of of students. So not only is it you know a step up, but it's like in perfect alignment with with the work that you want to do. So I see something opening up like that for you guys, and、uh, I feel like the summertime. Please,、um, if it speaks to you, heart and soul, even if it's you know a lot of responsibilities, I think it's time for you to start branching out, mainly because. You want to grow intellectually, and you also need to put yourself in a situation that is going to challenge you, rather than staying in a situation where it's very cushy. But emotionally and financially, it's just like it's comfortable. You know, there's a lot of finances here, but the light has already gone out. It's it's like you can go to work, put a blindfold on, and you know how to do. The work like the back of your hand, so it's at this point where you need to really start to challenge yourself a little bit more, and to get yourself into a situation where not only are you, it's 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 like we are all here to develop ourselves to our fullest capacity. That's why we're here. And so, if we take the easy route and we take the the road that is cushy, and you know. Um, conflict of,、uh, avoidant and and just、uh, smooth. We don't really learn and grow as an individual.、Um, and I also feel like, in a way, we are denying ourselves of the opportunities to develop to our full capacity. Okay. And so, some of you might be like, you know, why take the hard route when everything is 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 all fine and dandy here? And I would urge you to also think about, you know, working from a space. Where you need something new to come into your life, so that you can feel passionate, and you can feel like、um, you, you can feel that sense of、um, it, it's like all encompassing.、Um, it's it's all encompassing, financially, emotionally, professionally. So I feel like there's going to be something like that coming into the picture for you.、Um, so. We are moving here to a period of suspension. The hangman. Okay, what's next?、Um, I feel like for many of you, you're not really actively planning out the next steps. You're you're talking about it, or you know, it 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 crossed your mind, but it's not like you're you know、uh, taking out your laptop and going online searches for like new jobs, new、uh, career paths. Um, listings that are available for you, and I would urge that you do that because something is in the process of、uh, opening up, op breaking open, opening up, and、um, it will it will manifest itself a lot sooner than you expect. Okay, so I, I see like having to plan something six months in advance. Okay, and then I see having to you know like it, it's it's almost like. 
they the the people that are in job in charge of the job posting they're making they're recruiting people six months before the job starts that's how far into the future we are going to have to force ourselves to plan and the fact that you're looking back at the past and not really looking at the future indicates to me the sense of you know um comfort like i'm okay here it's cushy you know everything here about this card is very cushy it's comfortable it's cushy i don't have to you know work too hard but at the same time i just feel like there's a next step of your evolution in your professional life that needs to be taken um so that's what i'm sensing in your advice we have here the devil once again you know the the goat imagery okay some of you could be dealing with a capricorn some of you are also in a situation where um the sense of material comfort the sense of um you know working smart rather than working hard i also feel like all the earthly possessions as well i, I keep seeing a lot of things that are weighing you down okay things that you you really associate with comfort and stability uh, it's gotten to the point where they are really becoming obstacles to your freedom of movement this is the page of wands wanting a new change going after your passion exploring a new territory possibly even geographical um like relocation or distance or something that is different from from the the status quo and so on the one hand you want this new burst of passion on the other hand this is like the ball and chain okay and so they're really really urging you to really think about where can i expand a little bit more okay and then we're going to step away from that and go back to these two cards because um there's something in here that um might be a little bit concerning you have a, a situation um you have a person here that really loves you and you really care about them i feel like they really love you and you care about them you might not love them but you care about them and there's something here about not being able to reciprocate We have seven of swords, and seven of swords is sort of like a situation that is. It says in this card, futility. And going by that definition, rather than by the you know standard Rider Waite deck, there's some type of a communication between you and a person that you really really care about that is kind of like hidden under the light, and it's a relationship where there's a lot of love. from from the other person there's affection and warmth and um curiosity from your end but you're not really going to pursue it because you feel like this love this relationship is futile okay futile and so you've been kind of it you've been in this situation where you're not really sure what to do this hangman Uh, let me describe the person that you're dealing with. I have here the Empress. And this is a person that is really very attractive, okay? So, you know, uh beauty, attraction, um all of those things are very subjective, right? But I feel like this is somebody who's very classically very beautiful or very handsome. This is somebody that loves the outdoors they love animals they're very loving very nurturing um they they have like a, an energy of abundance about them and what that means is they 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 never look at obstacles you know the way that you look at obstacles because um the way earth signs look at obstacles is earth earth signs can be very risk averse Okay, when you hit like uh 3 4 5 obstacles, you're just like, "Oh, this might not be the way for me to go, so let me retreat and retrace my steps." This is somebody that sees learning opportunities in every single obstacle. And this is somebody that, you know, they they are highly highly intuitive and they see the world in a very optimistic lens and because of that, 
they're able to problem solve and resolve all the obstacles in their life. You're dealing with someone who's very enlightened, very attractive, loving, caring, and I feel like they really, really care about you. Um, I also feel like for some of you, there is a relationship here that's preventing another, uh, a really good relationship from starting. Take that how you may, okay? Because that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. There's a relationship that you're not um, pursuing because there is another person in the picture that you're kind of bound to and stuck with. That could be a relationship, that could be a marriage as well. And so you feel almost like it would not be right for you to, and, and you know, that's very honorable. You feel like it wouldn't be right to go ahead and pursue the new connection. And so <clears throat> what I'm sensing is you are in a state of, you know, just subsisting, existing. And I think the universe is really asking you to take ownership of your life, your emotional life and your financial life because of this Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Take control of your financial life. Take control of your emotional life because this indicates a situation that is no longer inspiring and we can't really lie to ourselves when when things are like this and stagnant right and then for others in relationship um i feel like there's a very strong pregnancy vibe very 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 strong pregnancy vibe that's coming through so let me see let me clarify So we have here Leos, oh I'm sorry, Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, it's a strength card so I was reading that. And then we have an Air Sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this is a Page of Swords. So there's come some communication coming into the picture and I feel like somebody has really told you or revealed to you how they feel about you. And I feel almost like you're... You might be blocking it out because for you, the status quo is very, very stable. And there's something about this person that can seem a little bit unstable. It's like they're too unstable. They're, they're not as, they're, they seem like a little bit more flighty than you'd hope. And you, you want to know as well whether or not their feelings for you are real and will stand the test of time. And you don't feel at this point that's, that it will, okay? So um, I hope the reading is helpful for you, Taurus. I hope that you come to a resolution and I would say, you know, get the resumes, um, touch up your resumes, do a few mock interviews, start looking around, start poking around and see what's available for you, okay? Um, you're at your max, I feel, when it comes to income generating opportunities. Uh, put your feelers out there, see what else you can shift into, okay? Take care of yourself. Um, one last thing. Um, I've been getting a lot of reading, or, or I'm sorry, emails about you know private readings. And I've mentioned, I made a, announcements in all of my readings that I'm no longer doing private readings. So for those of you who are interested in reading, I've included a link in the description box below for a colleague of mine. Her name is Bridget. She is a psychic. She is gifted. Um, I highly recommend a reading with her. I've uh, used her services like, multiple times in the past two years. And I've also recommended a lot of my family members and my friends to uh, consult with her. She's amazing. So if you're looking for a reader, I highly recommend her. The link to her um, scheduling website is in the description box below. Okay. Have a wonderful February. I wish you a very wonderful Valentine's Day and take care.